Hello, my name is Travis Osugi. I'm the technology trainer for Empire Southwest. Thank you for joining me for this webinar on the new Caterpillar SOS web portal. This video will demonstrate how to use the submit page. The submit page is used to submit information related to samples being sent for testing and to monitor and manage information on pending samples. The submit page has two tabs, wizard and pending. The wizard tab contains a three-step wizard used to select components for which samples will be submitted and to enter sample-specific information. The pending tab is used to find and manage samples that have already been submitted. The sample information submission process can be entered by going directly to the submit page, or the process can be initiated from other pages in the application that automatically transfer you to the submit page. The wizard tab features and functions. The wizard tab opens at the first step in a three-step process for submitting new sample information. During the first step, you must select the components that will be sampled. Click on the magnifying glass icon to open up a lookup dialog listing the available components. The lookup contains a selectable multi-column table with filter inputs as column headers, along with checkboxes for selecting multiple components. After the component table is populated, you can remove components that might not be needed by clicking on the check mark to the left of the component, then click the Remove button. If the table contains a new set of components that you will create samples for again, you can create a new set and add it to the component set list by clicking the Save Component Set button. Component sets can be managed in the Filters tab within the Preferences page. After clicking on the check marks to select one or more components for sample submission, the Samples Detail button will be enabled. Click on the button to go to Step 2. As with most wizard-style user interfaces, navigation buttons are provided to go back to the previous step or forward to the next step provided all required fields have been completed. For this view, the Add Samples button returns you to Step 1 and the Submit Samples button continues on to Step 3. The input fields for the sample details view are arranged in sections. Asset information appears at the top of the view with a dark gray background. Component identification presented in a mid-gray separator, and component sample details appear below each separator with a light gray background. Use the delete, or trash can icon, appearing at the right end of each separator to delete the related component from the list. Sample date is the only required field in this view, but providing as much information as possible is recommended to assist in the processing, tracking, and historical analysis of the submitted samples. Saving drafts. You have the option of entering information for components and not submitting the samples immediately. When you click on the Save to Draft button, you can leave the page then return at a later time to resume the process. When you return to the submit page, you will start at step one with the saved components selected. You can go directly to step two or add components to create additional samples before proceeding. When you get to step two, the application will automatically populate the fields with the information previously entered for the saved components. After you have finished entering information in the sample details view, click on the submit samples button to commit the information to the database. Sample information will then be viewable in the Pending tab until the physical samples are received by the lab. Step 3 of the wizard is simply a confirmation step. The information is organized in the same sections as Step 2, except the fields are read-only. You can modify or delete a submitted sample by going to the Pending tab. You can print labels for the samples currently shown within the page by clicking on the Print Labels button. Or you can review the information via the Pending tab, make changes if needed, then print the labels from that page. The Pending Samples tab allows you to find and view previously submitted samples. Start your sample search by using the Lab Date drop-down list. You can then refine the entries listed in the table by using the fields below the column headers to filter the list. Samples that have not yet been received by the lab can be deleted or modified by clicking on the samples check mark, then clicking on the Modify or Delete button. All of the information from this video can be found by clicking the Need Help button in the top right corner of the screen. Here you will find screenshots and in-depth directions on how to navigate the section that you are currently on. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. 
please feel free to contact myself or the Empire SOS Fluids Lab with any questions, comments, or for training.